let's have a look at how we use Affinity, either Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer, which is just behind here, and even Affinity Publisher, along with the new addition to the stable, if you like, and that's Canva. Of course, we all know about Canva now, but what can you do with Canva and Affinity working together? Well, you can have a lot of fun. Let's have a look at Canva for a start. Let's bring it up, and there it is. Now, I've gone looking for SVG file types just to be, uh, just to be interested. But now I'm using the free account, and you can do a real lot with a free account. If you're wondering at the difference between a free account and a paid for account, that's $100 a year, which sounds like a lot, but it's unlimited design. Now you can see here on any of these designs, you can see down here where the little hand is, where my mouse pointer is, and it says Pro. Upgrade to Canva Pro to access this template. But there are a lot of free ones. Now over here on the right hand side, there's a free template and you can customize the template. More actions, you can share it, which means you can just, oh, it's linked to copy. But if you customize the template, you can go right to the template itself. You don't actually have to customize anything and there's lots of different pages there you can apply. You go to share and you can download it. You can do lots of other things there. I'm not getting into an exercise at the moment, but it's suggested as a PNG. Now, if you want a transparent background, you've got to be a pro member. If you want to compress the file for lower quality, pro member. If you want it really large, if you want to change the size, in other words, you've got to be a pro member. But if you like, you can just download that. Valentine's Day card. I'm putting it in pictures and there it goes. It's downloading. Now I just go over to, let's see. That's one I downloaded previously. Let's go and just open the file that we downloaded. Valentine's Day card. Now it's a PNG file, which you know you can work with. And there it is. Open in Affinity Photo. Too easy. Now, if you want to know what size it is and the details of the document, there it is there. And it's locked. That's the way I've got it at the moment. Edit. And let's go to... Um, um, um. You know, I can never remember how to do this. Defaults Creative Style Text Document. Resize document. Now, it's 286 dpi. Let's see what that looks like in the units in inches. There we go. It's a 6 by 4 or 6. Well, that's nearly 7, isn't it? 7 by 5 card. Now, that's fine. Now, I don't want to change that. I just wanted to see what size it was. The dpi is 288. 288, or is that 6? 286 dots per inch. I'm sitting too far from my monitor. Cancel it, but there you go. Now there's an image you can work with. Let's go and have a look at the same image. There's one I loaded previously. Downloaded from Canva. Let's open, no, cancel, open, file, open, Pictures, which is one back. Here's Valentine's Day card. I'm opening that in Designer, and there it is, same thing in Designer as in Photos. But because it's in Designer, this gives me access to all of the Designer, Affinity Designer tools, which of course you really, you can make that into your own SVG file. It's not a problem, you don't need Canva. Although why you'd complain about $100 a year, I don't know. It's 
quite unlike Adobe, which charges you <laughs> that much a, a month. What do you think? Let's not get into that. Here we are, back in Canva. Now, what can you do in Canva? Let's go back to the main page. Just get right back there. Let's go to Photos. Discover Photos, Spring, Flowers, Background, Money. Everybody loves money. Let's go to Sky. Look at those images there. Now, if you want a sky background, using the design, can we download that one directly? Add to folder? No. Let's just go there. Custom size. What we want is A decent size. Let's put that on a note card. Eight and a half by four and a half. There we go. Now, you can design your entire card there. There's no reason you can't. Share that image. Mate, I'm working on the assumption here that you just want that image. PNG background. Download the background. Now it's giving me all sorts of awards for downloading lots of stuff. There we go, I've just changed the name, Sky Design. And there it is, it's downloaded. Now the interesting thing with Canva, because I've done all this, I can come back to Canva later on, and the fact that I've downloaded that will still be there. So I can come back to it and continue the design. Quite frankly, I think Canva is a very useful piece of um, software. And I'm sure I can make a lot of use of it. And in fact, I do. File. Open. Still in photos. Sky design. Open. There's a nice design, a nice sky design. You might need a sky background for some crummy photo you've taken that was on a rainy day and you want a blue sky behind your favourite friend. And there's the blue sky for you, quick and easy. You can do it in Canva, of course, and download it, but the idea of using Affinity means that you have, you're not limited to being online. This puts all the design tools that you are so familiar with right at your fingertips in Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, and I'll get to Affinity Publisher very soon. Okay, let's get right on, have a look at using the same system with Publisher. Now I'm back in Canva, and what I've got arranged here is a travel poster. Now this is a fairly common exercise uh, to cover in Affinity Publisher. But you can get the document really easily up here on Canva. Now, I, I would like to reiterate that this is the free version of Canva. And you can do most things you want if you're particularly only after documents that you can transfer to Affinity Publisher, Designer or Photo. Now, we've got this one. I've downloaded it already. You can see the download options here. I downloaded it as a PDF, it's an A4 size, and I won't download it again because it's a fairly pointless exercise, because what I want to show you is now that that's there, we're in Publisher there, let's look at Publisher, and I simply opened it and loaded it into Publisher from the download file, and that's how it comes up, the front page and the second page. Now from there you can modify it, do what you like with it, um, add it as part of a bigger exercise or a bigger project. So all in all, Canva is not the holy terror that people seem to think it is. Canva is a very useful um, piece of software or a very useful software site that covers all sorts of useful things. Now, you can spend a lot of money on Canva or well, a hundred pounds a year, hundred dollars a year. What is it? Let's have a look and see what it is. Somewhere up here. Uh, but here, but here. Let's not go looking for it in that case, because somewhere there it tells you how much is Canva. 
There you go. Pounds. 100 pounds a year. Well, that's a lot of money to outlay in one hit, but it's not all that expensive. But of course, if you want to do the job and you're only looking for additions to Affinity, you can see there I've been looking for various fonts. There's lots of different fonts on Canva. And you, you can find them. If you find a font on Canva that you want in Affinity, um, you only have to look around the internet in, your, in the usual places and you'll find all of your fonts. There's Canva Home. There's Canva Regular Templates. There we go. Now there's so much there that it's nearly impossible to cover it all. But I don't want to cover it all. because this is not an exercise in using Canva. And it's not an exercise in using Affinity Publisher Designer or Photo. It's an exercise in using them together. And you can see how easy it is. There's three different documents on three different Affinity platforms. Publisher, Photo, and somewhere hidden in the background now is Designer. And if you can't make that lot work together, then perhaps you're not trying. <laughs> okay, now that's it. That's all I'm doing on this exercise. Let's hope you get some benefit from it. Remember, Canva has purchased and bought out the Affinity um, series of apps, the, tr the, tr the trinity of apps. And that can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing depending on your viewpoint. But if you're into design and you're creating artwork, what a place to start. Somewhere like Canva. There is beauty in simplicity. Now you've got that there, all you need to do it is download the exercise. It's a PNG file. If I want to use any other sort of file, there's PDF, PDF for print. If I want it as an SVG file, then I need to be signed up for the annual thing. But that's okay. I don't want that at the moment. It's suggested as a PNG. Let's leave it as a PNG. Just download it. Here it comes. Floral design, too easy. Save. Now I can put that into photo, designer or publisher, but let's just bring it into photo. Where is it? It's in Finder. Floral Design PNG. Drag it up there to the bar and it loads it as a file in its own right in Affinity Photo. Isn't that wonderful? Beauty in simplicity. So continue to enjoy Affinity. It's a great set of programs.